G'day, this video profiles Guns Track which runs along a series of ridge lines from Mount St Bernard towards the Harrietville direction. It also includes the Guns Creek Track and the West Ovens Track. You access this track off the Hotham Road just past Mount St Bernard and it's a seasonally closed track so it's only accessible during the summer period. The track runs along a series of narrow ridge lines and the views in all directions are superb. Every now and then when you're out four wheel driving you come across a track that just completely surprises you and this was one for sure. Here we are approaching one of the lookouts along the track. From here we had spectacular views of the Blue Rag Range. We could see the cars even driving along the ridge lines. Mount Buffalo, Mount Feathertop and Mount Hotham. The 2019 fires took out a lot of the large trees in this region so the views are uninterrupted at the moment but probably won't be like this in the future as the forest regrows. The track winds in and out of the ridge line and you get these amazing views of the track snaking down the ridge line into the distance. Some of the slopes are, are pretty steep. It's a really rocky track in parts. I would recommend if you're thinking about having a crack at this track entering from the St Bernard end as you're going to get the advantage of the big view lines as you pass down through the ridge. The track has got some awesome steep sections. This is a proper good little fun full drive track. It is without a doubt on the high end of medium based purely on the slope grades and the narrow track. I would not recommend inexperienced four wheel drivers coming out onto this track by themselves. There's just too many opportunities to get yourself into a bit of a pickle. As you can see there's not a lot of passing opportunities in some parts of the track, particularly in this next section, which runs along the side of this hill. As you drive along this section of the track, you get views of the Blue Rag Range and sweeping views down the valleys to the west. Here we are approaching one of the rocky sections that you need to scramble up. It may not look particularly steep on the video but it is deceptively steep and with those large cobbles underfoot traction can be a real challenge on these slopes. So the narrow ridge line just keeps on going. So the guns track itself is not that long. It's probably only a quarter of the actual route showing on the on the original map. So now we're transitioning into Guns Creek track. And you can see that the narrow ridge line essentially continues along. So by now the track starts to open up onto a broader ridge line. This is not far from the location of one of the original huts that used to be in this area. I think it may have been wiped out by the recent fires. Here we are coming up onto I think is a helipad maybe. This is where you get major views of Mount Feathertop and Mount Hotham as well as Mount Buffalo to the west and the mountains to the north. And then 
really from this point on the track is just easy going so there's no major four wheel driving involved just a really good fun drive down through the ridge lines down towards Harryville nothing really as far as obstacles or dramas it's just a good cruisy drive really really nice if you've got the time I would 100% recommend going for a drive down this track as an alternative to going down the Harryville Hotham Road Here we are approaching the intersection of the West Owens track and about to head back towards Harrietville. And essentially it just follows the creek line pretty well all the way down into Harrietville. The road's great, really nice to drive. And as you go along there's some pretty cool campsites as well down towards Harrietville on the river itself. There's only one small creek crossing on the track, fairly shallow, easy to get through. And here we are landing in Harryville. What a great little track. I hope you guys get an opportunity to have a look at it one day.